Yeah, y'all upset with somebody and don't want to talk to somebody. I don't know what this is about. Are you running from love? It's like you're one way around other people or, you know, but around somebody else or for some other reason, you're like, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I'm not going to try to figure it out. What else do we, what does this, what do my singles have? Y'all funny. What do my singles have coming in? What's this current energy for singles? So it definitely looks like somebody here is annoyed and upset at somebody. They're mad at somebody and not talking to them. Don't have anything to say. It's, it's crickets. It's crickets in the text. Okay. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with. It. It's crickets somewhere. A young man. Okay. This could be you. You could be a, a masculine. You could be avoiding somebody younger than you. <laughs> Oh, you got new love coming in. Some of y'all getting ready to meet. Um, you go, Let me find out you're going to be a cougar, okay? You finding somebody new or you running away from this uh, this old person who's younger than you? And I don't know what we're about to see. So we got a new person here and I feel like an old person, but we'll see what else comes out. Destiny. So you're about to meet somebody. You're about to meet somebody new destiny here and then we have uh, a new door is opening i feel like you this is you though putting your hand up at somebody else like no 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 don't even come this way i don't want to talk to you could be this younger person that you were dealing with whether they're a man or a female okay they could just be younger than you or they could have an immature soul or immature spirit they might need to grow up or something this person could like love they might work on cars they may like light fancy cars or a particular style car or something about the car that they drive might be real interesting you know like or, or unusual but you're getting ready to meet somebody it's a destined meeting okay and this there's somebody new in your energy that's coming or just came yeah ice queen i'm telling you who are you running from you could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. You just got your back turned to all of this. You're not even concerned about anything new, and you're damn sure not concerned about this older person who's trying to chase you that you don't want to talk to. Yeah. You, you've just been through a, a bunch. You've been through a lot. I, I, guess, I, I guess you're feeling like you've experienced some delays when it comes to love. Like, do you've experienced some obstacles, which is why you're running away or annoyed at something or someone here because you're in this ice queen energy here. You don't want, you're not taking anybody's bull. You are not with the shit. You're not, you know, you're just not playing with anybody. And if you're here to play with the collective's heart, you know what I'm saying? Then the collective is not going to be, be playing with you. They are going to leave you on red. That is what I feel like. You're just not with it. You might be feeling blocked when it comes to love or like delay. Ooh, y'all have a new person coming in here. Y'all have a new passionate, serious relationship getting ready to come in. Whether you want it or you're ready for it or not, you have free will. You can do whatever you want, but it looks like you have a new person here that you're going to love. Okay, I feel like you're going to be like a little standoffish at first. But it's going to lead to something serious. Now, you know, what that serious is, depending on what you're looking for. Some of y'all may not want to get remarried, but the uh, you could get remarried and have kids or somebody already has kids. Looks like the sex will be good. Okay, show me what else here. Fair male. So... You're getting ready to embark on some sort of new journey here. See, you're about to meet somebody here who's real fun. Somebody's going to be making you feel like younger. Like there's somebody coming towards you who's new. They could be a lighter skin tone. You might meet this person at work because we have work here. And then we have freedom. It's like something about this person is gonna make you feel like lighthearted and fun and free and carefree so it's like this person is gonna take you out of this ice queen cold-hearted 
I got an ice box where my heart used to be energy. Okay, Omarion, listen, they about to make you feel young and free and youthful. I like it. What's going on with you? Y'all let me know. Hit the like button if any of this resonates. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, you guys. I do appreciate the support. Show me what else here. What is this coming towards the collective? This energy. Release. Somebody can't let you go. Release just came out in reverse. Either you need to release and let go of the past, which I feel like you have. But there's somebody else in your energy who hasn't released and let you go. Who doesn't want an ending, okay? Spread your wings. There's somebody here that doesn't want you to move on. Yeah. Somebody here does not want... Yeah, right. but you are going to move on and heal, okay? You're moving on and healing. So that's good. So I get it. Spread your wings and heal. You are going to finally break free from this chain or break free from this person from the past or, you know, or this person feels like you've already done that and you turn their, your back on them success and growth win or lose open up i'm telling y'all ice box open your heart up open up your heart be open to receive whatever this new thing is this new person that's getting ready to come in the thing is here you have a lot of growth and expansion coming in here your heart is healing but you know part of that process is like opening up a little bit more success and growth okay then we have the win or lose. It's like you're nobody's gonna stop you with this energy. This queen of swords, it's like you're in the energy, male or female. No one is going to stop you from healing. Nobody is going to set you back from on this healing journey. You're not going to accept any BS when it comes to relationships and connections, including anybody who's playing playing with you at work, right? You're just not in it to be playing around with people. I feel like you're straightforward to the point. You say what you mean, you know what you want, and it's not going to be anything less other than that. And you are going to do whatever it takes to win. You know what I'm saying? I don't... Somebody might want to compete for you, though. Show me more here now. Yeah, look at you in this Empress energy. You're about to have a couple different people. You're growing, expanding. I love this joy and stability. Hello. Look at you glowing up and you're looking great too. You're looking great. You're shining from the inside and the out, right? From the inside on the outside, you have this glow about you. But I also feel like you really are not taking anybody's crap, right? You're in this queen of swords energy. Like anybody can get cut. Anybody can be put on the block list. It's the energy that I'm getting here. It's all about what makes you happy. You're going to make sure and continue to move forward and do whatever it takes to continue to make yourself happy and to provide you with some form of stability and happiness and enjoy or spirits telling you to do that yeah look at this believe and succeed this is you moving on to calmer water six of swords energy like just moving on to your peace just period make sure you make sure you guys are resting and getting enough sleep and taking care of yourselves you have a well-deserved reward getting ready to come in here. I, I love this. And, and I really feel like that's a lot of different areas of your life, whether it be because you're in this fertile, like this fertile energy of the Empress, meaning like you're someone who can, whatever you touch right now will grow. If you have an idea, there's something you want to do, go ahead and take action because I feel like whatever you touch is just really going to turn to gold. So if you have a business idea or a project, anything that you're working on or an idea that you want to just act on, I suggest that you do that now. Because this energy is energy of you succeeding. You got joy and stability here. Believe and succeed and your feelings. Yeah, you got a fresh start coming in. Look at this. But didn't I just say you're in this Empress energy? So th this is the creativity card. This is like the Ace of Wands. But the Ace of Wands is also about fertility, which is the same energy, similar energy to the Empress. But you have a new fresh start beginning. So whatever it is that you want to do, like if you want to start a new job, like I said, there's a new opportunity here. But I'm going to keep it real with you. There's somebody from the past that keeps popping up. 
they haven't let your energy go. They don't want to let you go. And this person wants to come back and ask for you, ask to have another chance with you. You're getting ready to have some form of inspiration here to do something, to take action on something. You should do it. You should do it. There's a spirit of saying there's a lot of potential in whatever this thing is that you want to do. Okay, there's going to be a lot of fulfillment and definitely your potential is like limitless and you're going to achieve whatever this is. It's going to grow. It's going to blossom. Like if you just plant the seed and you just nurture it, it's actually going to be really successful, but you might feel like it's too much of a risk. It's not. I mean, it might be a real risk, but what's a risk if you don't try? Like if you want to be successful. I mean, I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos was... People thought he was crazy when he talked about Amazon 20 years ago. You know, richest man in the world now. I told you this dang old person misses you. Some of y'all dealing with a twin flame. And you miss them and you haven't let them go. This inner child energy came out with twin flame. So that's that six of cups energy. I miss you. I miss you. They, that's the person that can't release you. <sighs> Let's see. Start your thing. Yeah, spirit is saying rise above the drama. Spirit wants you to rise above this connection. I feel like you've healed. You're no longer the same person that you used to be. So when this person comes back, you're not, they're not going to recognize you. You know, you found the strength to move above. There was some drama involved with this person. Maybe some of y'all have kids with them, or this person was very childish, or they need to grow up. I don't know, or they were younger. Um, you know, something about this person was real petty, or you're getting ready to do something real petty. I don't know. I don't know why pettiness is the thing here, but it is. Show me more here. Please, Spirit. Um, spirit is saying, spend some time with your friends. Somebody could be thinking about traveling somewhere with their friends here, having fun, focus on joy, stability, traveling, enjoying your downtime with your family and your friends, or this could just be the energy that you are in. But again, going back to this new thing, like this new opportunity or this new project or this new job, whatever this thing that you can do, that you have the potential to grow and succeed at, it's a hidden path. It's almost like spirit is trying to push you and lead you in a new direction and they want you to go explore. Some of y'all might be thinking about exploring in a new country, taking a couple trips here, you know, you know, going on the countryside somewhere. Um, this is, I'm really, this is Greece. I've actually been here. <laughs> this is so funny to me. I just realized like I've been right. I've walked this whole thing over to these, um, windmills and they're like old windmills that, um, yeah, they're really fascinating, you guys. That view is beautiful. That view is very beautiful. Anywho, so if you haven't been, make sure you go visit this, this place. So maybe somebody here is thinking about visiting Greece or traveling somewhere on the countryside where there's a lot of greenery. What else for the collective, please? Ah, okay. Some of you have, there's a need for you to get more in tune with your spiritual side, get more in tune with like whoever it is that you pray to believe in. If you have an altar space or uh, where you have candles or you have a prayer, create you a sacred space where you can do more of that so you can feel more connected. That will help you because I feel like you're going through some form of healing, right? It's some awakening. You're in a, some form of an awakening phase. So this is you rising above whatever these this pettiness, these obstacles, this blockages. You're on a new pathway and you're having some form of realization. But the thing is, is that you are pushing and coming into this like newfound awareness and breaking free from something. So you're making a lot of progress. Low key, I feel like there's a twin here or very a person that's very special to you that you hold dear to you in your heart that um, might be having some form of an awakening that they may want to come back towards you. You both of you might be going through this at the same time, but I do not feel like this is the person for you. Okay. 
there's somebody else better. There's somebody new. All right. So this this past person's energy. What's this past person's energy when it comes to my collective, please? Let's just see. They're not happy that you're not talking to them. Nine of Cups just came out crossing with the Four of Swords. They're not happy that you they're that you're not talking to them. Page of Swords just came out crossing too. They're watching you. They're upset with you. Oh my gosh. But look, they're trying to manifest you back. They know this is the energy that you're in. The Empress is already out here in a different deck. Now here is the Empress again. Double confirmation. Gemini energy, Taurus energy. You are manifesting something new with a lot of potential. A lot of growth. It's like you're breaking free. <sighs> Well, I don't know what to say about that, but if you think you've let this person go, I think you haven't really fully, completely let this person go. And that's fine, but I'm just telling you that because that's the energy I see. All right, so what, will this person make a move on the collective? Eight of Cups. They feel like you walked away from them, and you did. You did. Will this person make a move? What What's this person's next move? Nine of swords in reverse. All these cards is like coming out, trying to come out in reverse. What's the person's next move? All right. Hold on, because a bunch of cards just came out. I just want to look at them. This person could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I believe this masculine is having an aha moment too. They're com they're getting some clarity about something. Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Where whatever they were in denial about or that they didn't understand, or wherever there was some confusion or they didn't they didn't weren't seeing it. Now this person is like really seeing it. They're seeing things for what they what it is. They're seeing something for what it is. King of Cups, Six of Wands. <sighs> Since you haven't talked to this person, there's a burden that you're not talking to them. This Ten of Wands and this Page of Wands. But I'm going to tell you this too. This Ten of Wands with this Page of Wands can always be like, the, it's giving me the energy of like the karma. Um, Like, why are there so many wands here? Like, does somebody here, what, what, what's the karma here that somebody is getting? What's the baggage here? Does someone not know how to control them, their wand or something? That That's really weird also. Let me see. One second, y'all. I'm going to pull from this deck. Okay. Somebody could be a Taurus, a Gemini, a Pisces, Scorpio. Show me more about this masculine. Yeah, there's definitely some third party something with this person. So they definitely have a hard time controlling their, their wand. Somebody has a really bad addiction problem here too. Yeah, this person definitely spied on you. And I think you know that. I think you know that. Um, Some of y'all could have found out that this person had a third third party also. And there's definitely some form of physical or emotional distance between you and this person. Okay. Ooh, but be cautious because I'm telling you, this person, something about them is they're just they're not being honest. So I wonder how much they really healed. Like you may you may miss them and they may miss you, but I feel like that's as far as this is gonna go. It seems like to me, moving on with your life is going to be the best bet. You do what you want, but let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to my collective? What does this person want to say to the collective? I'm sorry the old person hijacked the reading. I see you in my dreams. Yeah, they also see you somewhere else because they spy in. No time for distractions. So this person feels like you distract them. Or they feel like you don't want to be distracted. You be dist 
They want to talk. Can we talk? Why did you have to leave and go? Like I said, you walked away, Empress with the Eight of Cups. Why did you have to go? Can we please talk? This person is like about to break down and call you or something. I can't get enough of you. Yeah, this person is thinking with their you know what, unfortunately. So I'm tired of talking about them. Y'all could be dealing with any sign, but that's your reading. Um, I love you guys. Hit the like button on your way out, okay? If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. I'll see you guys later. Bye.